Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I'm starting a new series called SaaS in a Nutshell. So with that said, what is SaaS? Um, SaaS is pretty much, okay, so SaaS is a CSS processor that lets you write more modular, better code. And the best way to, um, the best way to explain this is to say we have JavaScript and a framework called React JS. You probably, you guys probably know this, but um, so React is a framework for JavaScript that lets you write more modular, faster, better code, and that React gets compiled to JavaScript to get sent out to the browser. Well, it's the pretty much the same thing with CSS and SAS. SAS is a CSS processor for um, CSS that lets you compile the code to CSS so you can send it out to the browser. Now, with that said, um, before I actually get into anything else, I want to go over my file structure and how I'm compiling the SAS code to CSS. So, the file structure. First off, we have the uh, root directories called SAS Nutshell. Then we have our node modules, uh, nothing new there. Then we have our styles folder, which is very important, which has our CSS folder with our style.css. And then we have our, our style.scss. And you notice that it says scss instead of sass. Well, there's two versions of sass. There's regular sass, and then there's scss. And the difference between the two is that, let me actually uncomment this code right here. SCSS has these brackets and these semicolons, and you notice that from regular CSS. Well, SCSS adopts those um, those semicolons and those brackets because, um, don't know why, but <laughs> developers seem to really like it, so I, I usually see developers using SCSS, which is why I'm using SCSS. SAS, on the other hand, doesn't have these semicolons. They don't have these brackets or anything like that. So if I remove all these brackets, and then I rename this file to SAS. How do I rename? <laughs> rename this to SAS. You notice the ch colors change and everything, and you notice that everything works. Um, so there's that, but I'm gonna go back to regular, um, I'm gonna go back to SESS because it's going to be a lot, um, whoops, yeah. It's gonna be a lot easier for you guys to understand. Uh, not necessarily understand, but you, you guys are used to uh, CSS, so I'm going to be using SCSS just because of the brackets and the, um, the semicolons. The familiarity. So let me rename this back to SCSS, and then, you know, keep going. Boom. Okay, so now that we're done with the styles file, right below that is DS store, nothing interesting there. Then we got our app.js file, and this just... You don't need to know anything about this. You can just copy mine if you want. But we're, we use this to spit out a server so we can actually see our code on the screen. I used to use uh, programs to do this, but then when I learned Node, it made it a lot easier. So docs.html, this is just my, um, these are my notes, my um, pointers for when I get stuck. Then I have my HTML file right here. This right here is just, you know, of course, an HTML file that displays um, Contents on the page. I have my nav right here with Uno Dos Tres right on the screen right here. And lastly, we have our package JSON, which holds a lack of dependencies. <laughs> so, with that said, um, that's that for the file structure. Now, I want to get into how I'm compiling my SCSS file to CSS. Let me clear this first. What I use to compile my SAS file to CSS is uh, a node module called Node SAS, and you don't have to you don't have to um, install this locally into each one of your projects. You can just do it globally, and it's completely fine. So what you're going to want to do is type down npm install Node SAS, and then what? Oh, not watch. Uh, G global, and then hit enter, and then it's going to install. Mine's already installed but you know, I'm just gonna do it just to go along with you guys. Okay, now it's installed. Now I'm gonna hit clear again. I like my terminal clean. And how we're gonna do this is, assuming you have my file structure, this is how, this is how it's gonna go. So we're gonna type down node, sass, that's the command. Then we're gonna type down dash o, output, 
this is where we're going to type down the, um, the, the place we're going to want to put our CSS file in. So in this case, we're going to say styles, we're going to go inside the styles folder, we're going to go inside the CSS folder, and that's it. We're just going to want it inside the CSS folder. After that, the next thing we're going to need is our, uh, the, um, the location of our SAS file, our SCSS file, whichever. So we're going to say that by going into styles slash style.scss. So this watches our SCSS file for any changes. When there's a change, it's going to redo the command and it's going to compile the SCSS or SAS file to CSS. So if we hit enter, nothing happens, but we go back here, we're going to uncomment this code, we're gonna save, and then it's going to say rendering complete saving SC, uh, saving, it's going to say rendering complete saving CSS file. And if we go over here to style.css, you'll see our code right here compiled to CSS. Say that, um, you know, let's, let's comment this again, save, what would happen? it would go back to being blank since it's commented out. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next.